our guy Danny from Inglorious Fishing. Go now, go and do the crab pot. It's going to be a bit of a two-parter, this one. Uh, I'll either link the two videos together or I won't. But I'm going to go out, go and do the lobster pots now. I've got the boat ready and prepped, so literally starting off we go. And then, once I get back in, I'm going to go and do a bit of shore fishing with some ragworm that I dug yesterday. So, stay tuned. Hopefully it'll be a good adventure and we catch some fish tonight. And hopefully we get some lobo wobbos and spider crab, baby. So stay tuned. Here we go. It's inglorious. Guys, first strings off, we've got absolutely nothing. When I mean nothing, I say nothing, I mean nothing. We've got one little spider crab there. Take that up, bit of plasso lasso. Probably bass frame in that. Put that back up. Second pot we have. Yeah. One little spider. One, two, three, four little spiders. And a brown edible crab. Pretty dire in that one, guys. Stay tuned. I'll get on to the second set. Glorious fishing. So guys, second string's up, I've got a massive sweat on now. First pot. Nice spider crab there, that's a keeper. That's one in the bag. Another spidey there, he's slightly too small. Another one there, too small still. Yeah. One, two, two baby crabs, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Must have played them a bit close in, guys. Double little lady crab for that. Second part, we have one. Guys, that's it. Stay tuned, we're gonna bake these up, we'll get them out, we'll get them to the third.
It's me. And we have one. Two little shankers, guys. That's it in the first pot. Not very good. I've only been out three days. But second pot. Shankaroo. Lady crab. Lobo wobbo baby, that's what we want. Just checking for size, it's gonna be close. I reckon he's in. Yeah, he's in guys. That's a keeper. Lobo wobbo baby. Chuck him up there. And little shankaroo there. Shanky baby. And another one. Another one, and another one. That's it guys, stay tuned. Here we go, the fourth set. So guys, four strings here, first pot. Probably in, but not keeping it, he's going back. One, two, three, four spider crabs. One, two shankers. Another spider, another shanker. These pots ain't done very well, guys. That's the first one. Second one, we have one, two, and three. Three spider crabs, baby. None of them keepers. Anyway, stay tuned. We're going to play these out. We'll head our way in. Guys, that's another trip out doing the lobster pots. One lobo wobbo and one spider crab, baby. Not the best, but hey, at least he still had a lobster. So like I said, this is the two-part series. I'm gonna go and uh, get ready, get the bait, and then we'll head shore fishing. So whether I make this onto this video or I'll do it a separate video, we'll soon see. If, if, if you see me fishing, you know that we're adding it on. So stay tuned, baby. Hi guys, Danny from Glorious Fishing. When we come down to the harbour, got my ragworm. Gonna just start getting the rod set up. It's a lovely evening, absolutely flat calm, nine metre tide. So yeah, we're gonna get the rod set up. I'll give you a quick glimpse of them, give you a quick glimpse of the bait, and we'll start getting out there and hopefully get some red mullet, something like that. Who knows here, yeah, you can catch anything, bass, anything. So stay tuned. It's in Glorious Fishing, hopefully it's epic. Look guys, here's some of the bait that we prepped. Um, not prep, but caught the other day. Some nice big long wrap, some ragworm like that. That's a logworm. That's the sort of things that they're going to be going after, guys. Nice big worms like that. Anyway, stay tuned, and hopefully, we get something. Alright guys, we're full of set up, I'm using a Sonic rod, that's my uh, rod of choice, Sonic SK3 Extra, it's a 5 to 7 ounce, it's a rough ground one, uh, lovely rods, uh, they're absolutely bulletproof in my eyes, and I'm using a pen, 5.2 mag, 5.25 mag 2, uh, great reels again, that's why I use them on both my rods, I've loaded it up with 20 pound uh, uh, mono, 
and uh, we've got a running ledger that's what we're using onto a 15 pound trace with a 1 0 hook hopefully we get some bream some red mullet pollock who knows anyway stay tuned we're gonna get this second rod out and hopefully we get some fish Guys, well, we moved from uh, near the harbour office there, we had absolutely nothing. The sun's beaming in, that's why the eyes are closed. We're gonna get our ragworm baits out and hopefully get some bream, maybe a gill's head, who knows here. Dogfish, we don't know. Fish on, guys. Fish on. First fish, first cast, lovely cooches bream that, it's only a small one but it'd be going bad, it's nice to see though, hopefully if there's a cooches there's a gilt head so hopefully we can get that, anyway stay tuned I'll get you a better glimpse. Well guys, second fish, sorry I couldn't get the actual fight on here. Another little cooches baby, nowhere near big enough, that's smaller than the last one. But we'll get that off and we'll get back out there and like I said, hopefully we get a gilt head. Stay tuned. Well guys, we have our third fish. Another cooches bream, I lost one, that was a lot bigger I reckon. The rub went like a freight train, so we'll get back out there, hopefully we get some more baby. Some glorious fishing. Oh, hold on guys, got bites on this rod. I was just about to show you the fish I just caught. I'll show you this fish, I'm going to get more bites. Anyway guys, there we are. Nice rockfish there, that'll be going back, that's for sure. Anyway, stay tuned, and hopefully I'll get a fish on that rod. <laughs> So guys, another cooches. Beautiful little fish that. They go like a freight train, these fish guys. When they're on the hook, they go like stink. They're just like gilt heads. They're a beautiful fish. The way that you tell is they've got, oh. Sorry about that guys, like I said, they're bloody, they're very ferocious. So what they've got, they've got a blue line right across the dorsal fin. And what they do, they have blue band across the nose and predominantly blue across here, across the top of the head. Normally a predominant blue band there. And that's what the cooches are, baby. They're a prime fighting fish. They're just like gilt heads. They croak as well. Anyway, stay tuned. Gonna get it back. That's the fourth one, baby.
some glorious fishing. So guys, number five, coochie woochie baby. They're a great fighting fish. Absolutely great fighting fish. Look at the colours on that. You can't beat that. Very aggressive, very, very ferocious. Great fight, great fishing. I absolutely love fishing for coochies and gilt I absolutely love it. Guys, number six, Coochie's Bream, baby, they're starting to get a bit bigger. What a bit of keeper, we're not keeping none tonight though. Anyway, I'll get back out there and we can get some more. Well guys, it's another episode of Inglorious Fishing. Six Coochie's, one Rocky, a few spider crabs and a nice lobster in the pots. So yeah, all in all, a good evening's fishing. Like my channel, like, subscribe. We're gonna do some more shore fishing. Hopefully, we get some cooches and some gilt head. We've got some nice armor got for that, so hopefully, we get a big one this year. So, stay tuned, baby. Plenty more to come. It's a glorious fishing.